the, the South, is, I mean, you already said, has one of the largest railroad networks in, in the world at the time, but it's still competition is outside of a few countries, relatively small, but it's, it's there. Um, but then they're also having this vision of like, where, where do we build that railroad line that connects to California? And how, how do we communicate with the West? And um, how, in, in part, I'm kind of just thinking in, in point like, how much political influence are Southerners bringing to bear for the Southern route um, and alternatives of that? The short answer is ultimately not quite enough because as we all know, a transcontinental railroad never got built during the antebellum era, but um, considering their, uh, their relative population um, and size, uh, the slave states were able to once again exert disproportionate influence in this major political debate. Um, it's a debate I think we, we haven't quite appreciated just how significant it was to the coming of the Civil War and to debates about a political economy in the 1850s, um, because an unbuilt railroad is not particularly a sexy subject for study. Um, I call it a monumental non-event in the book because it doesn't get built. Um, but at the same time, it, it structures so much of what happened in Congress in the 1850s. Mm -hmm. The Pacific Railroad was on everybody's agenda. Um, yeah. And just because you know, the slave South didn't ultimately build the road they wanted doesn't mean that it's insignificant or unimportant to us as historians. 